Happy Friday, my friends. Welcome back to another Pray Together episode. I'm thankful that you're taking the time to lift up these requests for brothers and sisters in Christ all around the world. We have quite a few requests today, so we will be spending some extended time in prayer. If you need to pause the episode and come back to it later and continue praying then, please feel free to do so. There's no law or rule in effect (laughs) that says we have to do all this at once. So I appreciate any time you can devote. If you would love to have your request or your praise included in a future episode of Pray Together, you can submit that to us for consideration by going to carrygreen.com slash prayer. That is C-A-R-E-Y green, just like the color, dot com slash prayer. There's a short form for you to fill out and give us the details and we would be happy to pray for you. All right. We are going to dive in, beginning with some prayer for world revival and spiritual renewal. Lord God, we are grateful. We are just so grateful this morning as we calm our hearts and pause our minds and just set our sights on you, that you are our king, that you, the God of creation, who is so holy and separate from us, has bowed low to redeem us by sending your Son. I find my heart overwhelmed with the greatness of that and so much so that my mind can't even conceive what it really means and the vastness of it. But Lord, I'm grateful all the same. I'm thankful that you call me your son. I'm thankful that my brothers and sisters listening have the same reality true in their lives, that you call them sons, you call them daughters, you call them your children. Lord, it's an amazing thought. And as we look around at the world that we live in, We see so much brokenness and pain and hurt. And Lord, we somewhat tritely sometimes say Jesus is the answer. But Lord, there is nothing trite about it. It is true. Jesus is the answer to every human need, every human pain. And so Lord, we ask you to sweep over this globe with your Holy Spirit, with your life, with your power, with your your very being. And Lord, cause people all around this world to have experiences and thoughts and turnings of their interest toward things that will lead them to you, Lord. You are the master craftsman. You are the master orchestrator who can bring all this about. And we are pleading, Lord, we are asking you to bring healing to our world, to cause injustice to cease, to cause the kingdom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to grow in power here in our day, Lord. We're asking you to do that beginning with your people. Cause a spirit of humility and repentance and compassion to overflow in our hearts, that we can be more and more like Jesus and express him to the people around us. Father, every request or praise that we're looking at today and going to be lifting to you reflects the brokenness of our world. So Lord, we're asking you to bring your great power to bear on every one of these situations, in every person's heart and life, that you will be seen as the great and glorious God that you are. Lord, we begin with an anonymous request from a sister who is asking us to pray for her oldest son. He has broken off communication with his parents and with his siblings, and he claims that he's suffering from some issues that stem from abuses he experienced from his own dad. And Lord, this son is just in a bad situation. He's depressed. He's not working. He does not follow Jesus, Lord. And this has been going on for almost 10 years. Lord, we pray that you would break through this situation in a way that will penetrate this son's hurts and his defenses, that will begin to bring healing and growth and transformation to his heart, that he can be one of those who sees Jesus and is transformed immediately, Lord. We ask you to bring about healing to these hurts that he's experienced. If there's lies he's believing, if there are falsehoods that he has come to believe through some means, we pray, Lord, you would banish those in Jesus' name. This sister tells us as well that this issue causes tension in her marriage, and the marriage has always been a little strained. And so, Lord, we ask you to give her and give her husband wisdom, that they would be able to reconcile their own differences and their relationship. They'd be able to come together united as a couple to pray for this situation with their son and 
and this tension and strain that it causes in the family. Lord, we ask you to bring wisdom and honesty into this marriage relationship, Lord. Change the hearts of husband and wife, that they can be humble, they can be receptive, they can be uh, godly in your name's sake. Lord Jesus, our next request is from our sister Tara. She's asking that she will have the strength to battle her addictions and to be able to get through those and see herself the way that you see her, Lord. I thank you for the healing that you brought into her life so far, for the blessing that you poured out in her life, Lord. We ask you to magnify and amplify those for your namesake and that you would bring Tara to a greater awareness of your great sufficiency for her, that she would find in Jesus everything she needs, that the addictions and the things that compel her and drive her would pale in comparison to her desire and her hunger for Jesus, Lord. We ask you to raise that up in her heart, in Jesus' name. We have an anonymous request from a sister who is thanking you, Lord, for getting her through her exams. And she is thankful, too, to the Morning Mindset audience for the prayers that we've lifted on her behalf, Lord. We pray for her and for all of her exams and her friends as well in the exams that they have endured. We ask, Lord, that you would cause them to honor you with the responses that they get on those exams, with the scores. And we ask you to encourage them, encourage them in your leading and your path for them. Father, we have a sister named Sherry who is asking us to pray for the truth of Jesus to be made clear in the hearts of her son, her daughter-in-law, and her six grandchildren, Lord. We are praying, Lord, that there would be just a, a tremendous move of your spirit into this home where this son, daughter-in-law, and grandchildren can all see Jesus in new ways. Lord, I pray you would start it in the hearts of the young man, that he would be drawn to you, Lord, with zeal and passion. You'd surround him with some godly men in his community who he can look up to and who can be uh, an encouragement and an inspiration and a model for him, Lord, that he would be drawn to you and thereby begin this transformation in his own family, Lord. Please bring it about, bring it in power, In Jesus' name, Lord, we pray that you would create a safe and happy home for them and for her daughter, she's asking specifically, Lord, would be able to be healed physically, mentally, emotionally, Lord. Cherry is also asking us to pray for extended family who has experienced many traumatic things and needs healing there. And Lord, for Sherry herself, I pray you would enable her to be sensitive to how you want to use her in the lives of her family, how you want to use her in her community and the people that surround her. Lord, we ask that your faithfulness would be seen. Sometimes we can't see the path ahead. We don't know exactly where it is you're calling us or what it is you're leading us into. But Lord, if we can see you as our faithful God, as our loving and good God, then we're able to walk forward with encouragement and confidence. And I pray that for Cherry right now, Lord. I pray that she would be just very aware of your presence and of your faithfulness to her and to her family, Lord, and that she'd be able to rest in that trust, knowing that you're at work, knowing that her family is secure and being guided according to your plan, Lord. Our sister Rachel asks us to pray for her cousin, Jason, His wife has just left him after 10 years of marriage. He's very broken. She has come to believe that if you aren't happy, you should break all your commitments and find happiness, Lord. We pray, first off, against that demonic mindset in our world. That's much of what the devil lured Eve in with. He promised her a happiness that she wasn't experiencing, which was a lie in itself, Lord. She was a perfectly satisfied person at that moment. And yet she bought the lie. So Lord, it's not surprising to us that this young woman has bought the lie, but Lord, it is heartbreaking. And we pray that you would bring her to her senses, Lord. We ask that you would give a deep sorrow and a deep regret and repentance over what she's done and that she would be humbled and broken and come back to her husband to re-implement this relationship and to restore what's been lost, Lord. We ask that for this man whose wife has left him, Lord. You would protect his faith during this time, that he will allow you to heal his broken heart, Lord, that he would come 
near to you, he would draw near to you and be redirected to you, Lord, and that the two boys who are involved in this situation, with their mother leaving, Lord, will be just preserved and protected by your spirit, Lord. Give them the ability to learn more of you and grow in you during this time, that their security will be found in relationship with you, not with their mother or their father, Lord. And we pray for this father. he be able to continue being a good and strong father for his boys, that your truth would prevail in this, that the lies would be dispelled, Lord, and that the joy and happiness that this young woman seeks will be found in Jesus. Christy asks us to pray for her friend, Gina's brother who is diagnosed with cancer, Lord. We ask that you would strengthen this family during this challenge. We ask that you would show yourself to be their all in all, their treasure and their great reward. Lord, that you would provide peace for this brother who has the cancer, Lord, that they would be able to see you in the midst of this difficult circumstance. They'd learn how to trust you in new ways and that they would be drawn into your presence through it, Lord. We ask that the doctors and medical professionals who are treating him would be wise with your wisdom, that he would not be harmed in any way by the treatments, whether it be by misguided diagnosis or misguided application of treatments or misguided treatments themselves, or, Lord, through mistakes or errors that are made. We pray you would preserve him and protect him, Lord, and that you would be his healing. You would bring that about in Jesus' name. Our sister Tia is traveling on October 7th to study and live abroad, and she's asking us to pray for her. So, Lord, we ask you to give Tia a sense of your presence as she travels, a peace that passes all understanding as she submits her cares to you, Lord, that you would guard her and guide her from the evil of the world, that you would lead her to the places that she needs to be to learn the lessons that you have for her to learn, and Lord, that she would be protected from worldly and vain philosophies, Lord. Guide her in your grace and in your power, in Jesus' name. Our sister Favor is asking us to pray for her regarding financial provision for her and for her family. Lord, we ask that you would pour out from heaven everything they need, that you give them faith like a mustard seed that can move mountains, Lord, that they would rest in you and trust you for every single provision, whether that be bills or food or electricity or whatever it is they need, Lord. We pray you would meet them day to day and meet their needs. She's also asking us to pray for her mother, and a sickness that she is experiencing, Lord, we are asking you, Lord, to bring healing into this woman's life, that you would provide uh, an abundance of your presence in a visible form, Lord, they'd be able to see you and your provision for this healing, Lord, in Jesus' name. We also ask that for a favor, Lord, you would help her to understand you more and to serve you more. Lord, I'm so grateful for her heart her desire to know you. That is the greatest treasure we could ever have is our knowledge of you. You tell us that in the book of Jeremiah, let, or in the book of Isaiah, rather, let him who boasts boast in this, that he knows me. Lord, I pray that you would grant understanding of you and a closer walk with you to our sister favor in Jesus' name. Our sister Kyla asks us to pray for her husband and for herself as they start a family ministry they feel you are calling them into. Amen, Lord. We pray you give them wisdom. You give them insight and discernment. You would root them in the truths of your scripture and that they'd be able to pass those along in practical and applicable ways to those that they are seeking to help. And Father, that you would bring the exact people into their lives who you desire for them to help, Lord. Guide them. Grant them wisdom. Preserve them in the integrity of their family as they step into ministry, Lord, because in many ways, when we seek to do your will, we become a target for the enemy. And so, Lord, we ask you to grant protection and peace for our sister Kaila and her husband, Lord, in Jesus' name. Our brother Sam says he has recently rekindled his faith in you, but does not have a community of believers around him. The people around him are engaged in sinful behavior, substance abuse, and he's finding it difficult to remove himself from that circle of friends because they're the only friends he has. And he struggles with loneliness and social anxiety. So Lord, I pray first off that you would give him 
a great sense of your presence. You would become his community. You would become his strength. You would banish these feelings of anxiety and loneliness, Lord, that you would show him. He has a friend that sticks closer than a brother in you, Lord, and make that spiritual reality a tangible and powerful reality for our brother Sam, Lord. We ask you to guide him to the right community, the right church community, that he'll be able to overcome the things that he's struggling with, Lord, and find a place he can be welcomed and can truly grow. Our sister Jamie is asking us to pray for healing and encouragement for her son, Luke. He is a college lacrosse player. He's far from home, and he's experiencing a lot of different issues in his life, Lord. I pray that you would give him a greater sense of your presence, Lord. I I pray that over and over for people who submit requests, Lord, because I know it is our greatest need to know you, to know that you're with us. I pray for this young man, Lord, that you would enable Luke to see your presence and to value it and treasure it and to seek you with all of his heart, Lord, that you would enable him through his participation in lacrosse and in the other activities of his college days, Lord, to be full of uh, a desire to let others know of you and to know about you. Lord, I pray that you would uh, enable him to be assured and confident and strengthened by your presence, Lord. We ask it in Jesus' name. Lord Jesus, we lift to you our brother Michael, who is asking us to pray for him as he is now on a journey back into a life with Jesus, Lord. We thank you for calling him back to yourself. We thank you that he's obediently walking that path, Lord. We ask that you would provide for him every resource he needs to know you better, to draw close to you in faith, to be a person of great dependence on you and that his faith and and foundations would be rooted in your scripture. Lord, we ask you to guide him, to direct him, to empower him, and to grow him step by step, Lord. Provide him the humility and the patience he needs to walk this path with you for the rest of his life, Lord. We ask in Jesus' name. Our brother Danny asks us to pray for his nephews, Max and Daniel that you'll be able to break the strongholds of drug addiction. Lord God, I thank you for an uncle who is eager to pray for his nephews. I am grateful that he's lifting them to your throne of grace, Lord. We pray that you would pour out grace on Max and on Daniel, Lord, that you would break the bonds of addiction, that whatever spiritual powers may be involved in this addiction, Lord, you would cast them into the abyss in Jesus' name, Lord, that you would cause their hold on these young men to be broken, that you would enable them to see Jesus in all of his glory and that he could become their greatest desire, their greatest passion, Lord, and that they would be freed from this addiction and the the life that it leads them into, Lord, that you would enable them to grow in the knowledge and grace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We have an anonymous request from a sister who says they are currently without a home. They have found temporary shelter with uh, her in-laws, but they are seeking to be guided to the path that they were meant to live, the home that they're meant to live in, Lord. They're hopeful that this is just a step in their journey and that they'll be able to learn what they need to learn in order to overcome moving into the future and find a permanent home. Lord, we know that in every circumstance, you bring lessons and you bring guidance and you bring growth if our hearts are humble and willing to receive. So I'm thankful for this sister's prayer. I pray that she and her husband, and, and if there are children involved, they would be able to rest in your provision for now, that you would guide them in their wisdom and their decisions regarding jobs, regarding location, regarding city or move that might be involved, Lord, that you would give them your peace and your guidance, that their humble hearts would be crafted and guided into the image of Jesus, Lord, that you give them strength as they endure. Our sister Pamela is asking us to pray for her stepdaughter, Lizzie, and her husband, that they would come to know God. Lord, we ask you to reveal yourself to them in new ways, bring people into their lives whose comments and, and conversation open their hearts and their minds to seek something more in their lives than just what this world has to offer, Lord. Give them a a sense of your presence and your power that are Uh, tangible and evident, and that they would be able to turn to you in faith, Lord. Lizzie and her husband are also 
seeking to have a child. They've been longing for a baby. And Lord, we ask that you would open up her womb, that you would provide what is necessary for them to have a child when the time is right. They've been trying for four years or more now and are pursuing some medical procedures. Lord, I pray you would also guide them to open their hearts toward adoption if that's a possibility for them. Lord, that you would guide them in your will, that you would give them the the very best blessings that will draw them to you, Lord. We ask it in Jesus' name. Our sister Riley asks us to pray that she will stay on track regardless of a situation she's experiencing with her roommates, Lord. That she'd like you to put people in her life who have the same morals that she does, even people who would push her to be a better follower of Jesus Christ, Lord. I love Riley's heart. I ask you, Lord, to protect her from the influences that are around her. Give her a new open door to a new roommate situation if there is an opportunity for her to live with others who would draw her to Christ, Lord. I pray that somewhere in her circle of friends, somewhere in her church community, somewhere you would open the door for community with brothers and sisters in Christ who can nudge her toward Jesus day after day, that she'd be encouraged in her faith and that she would be strengthened in her resolve to follow after Christ, Lord. It's clear from the way the New Testament describes the unity and community of the church that we are to be about helping each other grow. I pray you would bring the right people around Riley for that purpose, Lord, in Jesus' name. Our sister Elaine says that her husband and she have been trying to conceive for two years and would love to be blessed with a child. So Lord, we ask for Elaine, Lord, that you would open her womb for her husband. You would make him uh, fertile and, and able to produce children. Lord, whatever the biological cause is, we know that behind it all is your divine will. Lord, we pray for these two, that you would grant them the gift of a child. We pray that you would give them peace with your answer, whatever it might be. And we pray, Lord, too, that you would grow them in their relationship with you, that they would be drawn to you through this time of waiting and through this time of hoping that you would become their treasure much more than even a child would be, Lord, we ask in Jesus' name. Our sister Jessica comes to us first with a praise. We've been praying for her regarding funds for her school fees, and the Lord has answered. So, Lord, we are grateful. We're so thankful to know that you've provided for everything that Jessica needed to pay for her school, Lord. Now she comes with some other requests, first regarding her father, who is needing a surgery. They have found a doctor who's willing to do the surgery, but they need funds to get him to a neighboring country to go for this operation, Lord. So we pray, first off, that you would bring healing to her father. We don't know the condition. We don't even know the, the, the reason that he's needing this surgery. But Lord, we ask that you would bring healing. If your desire is for that healing to come through the hands of this physician, Lord, that you would provide every penny, every dollar that is needed to get him where he needs to go for this surgery, Lord, and for his care there and afterward, Lord. We ask it in Jesus' name. There is another request here that Jessica has for Dorothea Mission, that God would bless and provide for the missionaries there who are doing your work, Lord, that you would lead new people to join this mission and spreading your word to the people of South Africa, Lord. We ask that you would do this. You would just equip and prepare your people to engage in the mission that you've assigned to them there at Dorothea Mission, Lord. We ask that you would strengthen those who are already there. You give them a newfound resolve and a closer relationship with you, Lord, that they'll know better how they're to minister, how they're to serve, and what it is you're calling them to do. Our sister Wanda asks us to pray for her. She is looking for a home. We ask that you would open all the right doors, Lord, to provide the safe and secure and peaceful place where Wanda can enjoy life with you and can draw closer to you, Lord. We ask that you would provide for her this basic need, Lord, in Jesus' name. Our sister Yuna is applying for a new job and is looking for your guidance. Lord, I ask that you would lead her into every one of the open doors that you're providing for her, Lord. And even though she has lots of voices, it seems, in her life that are speaking to her, people who are giving her advice about relocating and jobs that she should take, Lord, she wants to be able to cast aside all the noise and stand before you to hear your direction, Lord. She knows you will guide her, Lord. I'm confident you will guide her as well, Lord. Give her discernment to know which of the voices around her she should be hearing and listening to, 
enable her to know when you're speaking through a friend or a family member, and Lord, at the same time, give her an assurance of your your good pleasure toward her, that you will guide her and you will uh, lead her into the place that she needs in Jesus' name. Lord, Yonella is asking us to pray for her uh, and her, for her mother who is fighting cancer. Lord, we ask that you would bring healing and recovery to her mother. We ask you, Lord, to give her a sense of your presence and your care for her, Lord, that in this struggle against this disease, Lord, she would see you in a new way. She would be drawn close to you. And Lord, that as you take her through this journey of battling the cancer, Lord, you would draw her to yourself and give her a close, intimate relationship with Jesus that will last throughout all eternity. Yonella also asks us to pray for her. She says she's struggling herself. She has had big dreams in the past and making a difference in the world. And now that some opportunities to move in that direction are opening themselves up, uh, she's feeling overwhelmed. Uh, It seems much more complicated and hard than she first thought it would be. And Lord, I completely understand that. Often, the steps we have to take to accomplish better or bigger things are complicated. They are hard. They are difficult, Lord. And that is why such great results come from them. So I pray for Yonella, Lord, that you would give her your courage and your strength. You give her clarity of vision and you give her determination that is from you, Lord, to walk simply one step at a time, doing the next thing in obedience that you've called her to do, that she not get overwhelmed with the big picture and with all the details, but she would just be able to, to plan one step at a time of doing this correctly, Lord, as you would guide her. We ask it in Jesus' name. Our sister Christina comes to us with a praise. She and her husband finally are uh, with child and eager uh, about that decision. So, Lord, we praise you for the answer to many years of prayer that you bless them with a child. We we praise you, Lord. We ask that you would now uh, protect Christina during this pregnancy. She says due to her age and other issues, she's considered high risk. But, Lord, we know You are God of all these things. You brought a child to Sarah when she was 90 years old, Lord, and you saw that pregnancy through. We know you can do that in Christina's case, Lord. We ask you to do that in Jesus' name. We're also praying for her husband who works hard to provide for the family and his job is physically demanding, Lord. He's in daily pain. We ask you to provide a new way of him to provide for his family. It does not cause him to suffer like this, but Lord, we ask you as well to bring relief to the healing, to bring strength to his body, to provide for this family in every way, in Jesus' name. Lord, our brother Watson comes to us with a prayer request regarding he and his wife and his family who have all now been diagnosed with COVID for the very first time. Lord, I am thankful that they have been kept free of this sickness for two and a half years and that now the variants that are around are not nearly as deadly and not nearly as harmful. But Lord, I pray that you'd bring healing to their family. I pray also, Lord, that uh, Watson and his wife would be able to battle the guilt that they're feeling for bringing this disease into their family through attending a conference, Lord. They learned a lot, grew in the conference, Lord, but the enemy is destroying, trying to distract them and discourage them because of this situation, Lord. I pray that you would give them the strength they need to stand in faith, to stand in confidence that you have led them and you have guided them, Lord, and that this sickness as well is in your sovereign care and in your hand, Lord, that you are going to do something in their family through this and through other circumstances, Lord, that only could happen this way. We know that's true because you're sovereign. And so, Lord, I pray for my brother Watson. I pray for his dear sweet wife, Lord, that you would give them strength and confidence that they would be able to banish the guilt in Jesus' name and walk in the righteous forgiveness of Jesus and be confident as they minister to their family in Jesus' name. Our sister Desane is asking us to pray for her fiance. He is 28 years old and was just diagnosed with what they believe is testicular cancer, and it has begun traveling up into his lungs. Lord, naturally, this is a very, very shocking piece of news. And we pray, Lord, 
that you would give wisdom to the doctors, that they would be able to clearly diagnose this as one biopsy was inconclusive, Lord. We ask that as this new biopsy is being looked at, you would give clarity of what the condition is and clarity of how to treat it. Lord, we pray at the same time, you would bring healing to Javier's body, Lord. We ask that you would bring him to full recovery and that Desane and her fiance here can be married and live to your glory, Lord. I pray that this situation would be a great testimony of your presence and of your power in their lives, Lord. We ask that you would draw Javier closer to you in his faith, Lord, and that this difficulty would not sidetrack him in any way, but actually would grow him in strength in his relationship with you, Lord. We ask it in Jesus' name. Our brother Andrew is facing some difficulties at his workplace. Uh, He works in a school system and is facing uncertainty regarding certain things uh, relating to the security of his job. And Lord, he says he's trying to trust you. He's trying to lean on you, but anxiety and worry keep cropping up, Lord. I pray that you would provide him an inner peace that comes from knowing your presence as if he could look to the side and see you standing there with him with your arm around him, Lord. I pray he would know it in that certain of a way, Lord, and that he would be confident that you will provide for him. There's no job outside the scope of your provision, Lord. There's no opportunity that you cannot give him. There is no loss that you cannot walk him through, Lord, with strength and with confidence and with peace and power. I pray you would do that for my brother Andrew in Jesus' name. Our brother Will asks us to pray for his fiance, Izzy. She has been experiencing some serious health problems the last two years. Lord, we ask you to provide strength to her body and for healing to her, Lord. And that as she seeks medical counsel, she would not be led astray, Lord, but that they would be able to find the particular problems that are being uh, at the root of these issues. And they'd be able to treat it very well, Lord. We ask you to do this in Jesus' name. Our sister Stella asks us to pray for a friend of hers who is in destructive patterns of self-harm and they are becoming strong for her very often. Lord, we pray for deliverance. We pray that for this friend, she would desire to know you, that these, these tendencies toward harming herself and destructive things would be banished in Jesus' name, Lord, that you would enable Stella to speak the love of Jesus into her life, that Stella's loving example as a friend would be a great comfort and encouragement to this friend and that the two of them can turn their eyes to you, that this friend would draw close to you in Jesus' name. Our sister Karen is asking us to pray that you would provide for her wisdom and new strength and peace as she moves forward in life, Lord. I love that simple prayer. We all need wisdom and strength and peace, Lord. I pray that Karen would know that through knowing you, Lord, that you would give her a greater connection with you and a deeper reliance on you, Lord. Show yourself to be faithful. Grant her in every way to know the peace that passes all understanding, Lord. Our sister Renee is expressing to us a crisis situation regarding her 95-year-old mother. The details are not Uh, apparent or very clear here, but it is related to her brother who lives with her mother and the circumstances that they are in. Lord, we ask you to guide them in any decisions they need to make. We ask you to give them wisdom regarding the circumstance. We pray that this this 95-year-old mother would be sustained in faith and in strength for your name's sake, Lord, and that this family would just be surrounded by your guardian angels and by your love, Lord. We ask it in Jesus' name. Our sister Katian is asking us to pray for her family as they go through a tough season of life. Lord, we know that your will will be done. Your will is always done and it's done perfectly, Lord. We pray for the family to have faith and patience, Lord, that they would not be distracted or full of anxiety, Lord. We ask you to protect them from the wiles of our spiritual enemies that seek to distract us from devotion to you. I pray that this entire family, Lord, will be drawn closer to you in this circumstance, Lord. We pray in Jesus' name that you would do these things for your glory in Katian's family. Our brother TD is asking us to pray regarding he and his wife's sad news they've just received that they cannot conceive naturally. He says for his wife, this is a devastating blow and she is new to the faith and doesn't quite understand how God could 
allow something like this to happen, Lord, we pray that you would work in her life to show her yourself, show her your faithfulness. We pray that you would give her circumstances and and situations that show her your faithfulness and show her that you care for her even in the disappointments of life, Lord, that you can make all things possible. We pray that T.D. and his wife would not set their sights or their hopes on a particular outcome, Lord, but they rather would set their hopes on you, the, the author and perfecter of their faith, the one who's created their lives for your purposes, Lord. We ask it in Jesus' name. Lord, we have a dear sister here who wishes to remain anonymous, who's asking us to pray for her that all thoughts related to homosexuality and homosexual tendencies would leave her mind. Lord, I love this prayer of dependence. I love this cry of desperation, Lord. We all need you to help us in our biggest struggles and in our places of temptation. And so, Lord, I come along this sister with just the simple faith of a child, asking you, Father, to enable her to grow in strength through the temptations. And that, as our brother Paul says, she would know that no temptation has overtaken her except what is common to mankind. And you are faithful that in that temptation, you will provide a way of escape so that she will be able to bear up under it. Lord, I pray that you would give her eyes to see those ways of escape. I pray that you would give her a deep-rooted faith that you will guard and preserve her from every temptation of the enemy. And Lord, that you would develop in her as well right desires. And, And as she said, banish these evil desires from her heart, Lord. I pray you would encourage her, Lord. I pray you would make her a demonstration of your great grace and glory, Lord. It's in your name we pray. Our brother Phil asks us to pray for him, that you would bless him with a life partner. He's been longing for a life partner since 1995. So Lord, I pray for Phil, that you grant him a godly wife, Lord, that you bring this woman into his life. You would enable them to develop a healthy, strong, godly relationship. And Lord, that they would be able to move toward marriage, Lord. I know that that blessing and I know that longing, Lord. I pray that you would do this in the life of our brother Phil, in Jesus' name. And Lord, we pray as well that you would continue blessing the ministry of the Morning Mindset, that every episode would bring about the encouragement, the strengthening, and the growth in the listeners' lives that you intend, Lord, that you would make the scriptures come alive for people, that the power of your word would accomplish what you send it out to accomplish, and that people's lives would be changed as a result, as many have testified has been the case. And Lord, we continue to pray for not a needy person and the people who are represented by the needs there, Lord. We know there are many more needs that we can handle that are out there, Lord. We pray you would bring the ones that we can uniquely help with in Jesus' name. And you protect us from making wrong decisions regarding the needs that we we approve. Lord, that you would grant exactly the right donors to come to meet the needs, that you would put generosity on their hearts for the things that they find on the website at Not a Needy Person, Lord. We're asking you to do this and give our our, our team who vets the needs and makes the calls the wisdom and discernment and compassion that they need to do so with your Spirit's power and guidance. Lord God, we are grateful for everything you're doing in our lives. We pray you would guide us in every decision. You would guide us to walk out your will in our lives and in this ministry. It is in Jesus' name we pray for all these things. Amen. Well, friends, thank you again for praying with me. Again, if you would like to submit a request for a future episode, you can do so by going to carrygreen.com slash prayer. That link should be in the description for this episode. Thank you, my friends. Let's pray together again next week.